Hi, I'm Dima Abdel Hafiz. And I'm Aisha Mahmoud. And we are the student trustees for the Hamilton Montworth District School Board. Today, we're really excited to get to sit down with three recent graduates as they tell us about their experience at HWDSB. We'll be touching on some of the obstacles they faced during the pandemic, some of the biggest takeaways they have from their experience, and some advice they'd like to give to current students. We're really excited to get to speak with these students as they shed light on their experiences and to be able to share their voices and their stories. I'm Ella Coburn. I entered the HWDSB school board when I was like five at Sir William Osler School and then I attended there until grade eight, graduated, went to Dundas Valley Secondary School and then last year I graduated and I'm now at McMaster University in Humanities and I'm minoring in Commerce. HWDSB has definitely been like super supportive towards me ever since I entered the school board. As far back as I can rem remember, they've kind of been like a support as m for me as a student and as a leader. I remember constantly being given opportunities to kind of like take little jobs and little tasks that has helped me grow like overall as a leader. And I think that translated really nicely into high school as well. Elementary and middle school helped prepare me for high school. And then I think high school has also helped prepare me nicely for university. Um, but I, yeah, I definitely think that as a whole, like the opportunities that I was given throughout my experience in HWDSB has helped shape myself as like a person and a leader. So it goes like further than just the academics. So even like though graduating through a pandemic and finishing my senior year through a pandemic was very different than what I imagined like growing up my senior year would be. As a whole, like that taught me to be more adaptable and like cater what I, like that I can still do things regardless of like the outside influences and stuff. So changing, hanging out with my friends to like Zoom calls and that kind of stuff. Like it just helped me, I think, as a person become more adaptable. Clubs and sports being taken away was really challenging because as much as school is to like learn math and English, like it's so much more than that. It's so much, it's like student experiences and peer connections and teacher student connections. And like, I think once they allowed us to restart clubs on a virtual platform, it really improved my senior year. So I think in the future, if we are going back into another kind of like lockdown situation, I definitely think emphasizing the importance of student experience over like just academic would be really impactful. I'm Milena Rios. Um, I started my HWDSB experience at the age of nine. I went to Allen A. Greenleaf, and then I went to Waterdown District High School right after. Where are you now? Right now I'm at Lauria Uni Wilfrid Laurier University um, for social work. Um, a lot of my key moments happened in high school. I really enjoyed my high school experience. It was a really positive one. Um, I really enjoyed all the spirit days, all of like hanging out with my friends. So in grade nine, I had uh, this one teacher, this is my English teacher. I was in applied uh, English in grade nine, and she was like, you can do academic English in grade 10, like you should try at least. So she really encouraged me to try, and then I ended up getting like an 85 in that course. And I did academic English for the rest of the year. Um, I went for university courses if I could. I'm, I'm probably gonna think about her for the rest of my life, because like she really impacted me. And yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just wondering, what are some of the obstacles that you faced during the pandemic? Um, I faced a lot of issues with um, just like the schoolwork in general. Like I felt like I was getting very burnt out very quickly. I faced a lot of school burnout and I wasn't really sure what to do with that. Services weren't really amplified. They weren't really like emphasized like, oh, you have this, you can reach out to this person, you can reach out to this person, you can reach out to this person. That wasn't really talked about a lot. So I didn't really know what to do until I talked to my friends. And then they are the ones that ended up telling me, oh, you should go maybe see if there's a social worker or if there's like a school counselor. I felt like maybe the school should have talked about resources that were available more. So when, I, when students face uh, burnout, they know where to go and what they can do and their options, if that makes sense. So I am Franca Chenove and I came into the HWDSB um, in kindergarten and I was at Highview Elementary from K to eight. I graduated there and went to the audition based program of the arts at Glendale Secondary where I majored in dance and drama. And then I graduated in 2021 and I'm now at U of T for uh, physical and mathematical sciences where I am double majoring in astrophysics and political science. All right, so tell us about your experience at HWDSB. What are some key moments that you remember? Any of your favorite memories? I had a pretty positive experience for the most part at HWDSB. There was a lot of room for individuality and inclusivity at my school and kind of discovering 
what I'm passionate about and what I wanted to do post-secondary, whether that was in like my education or just um, to go off and kind of do my own thing independently. A key moment that really stands out to me is a lot of the opportunities I had within my school, talking to administration, especially in my last year about um, kind of improving the school as I was leaving. So like some legacy pieces that we had were like creating clubs that have now sustained themselves like a transaction club um, for transgender kids in my school, as well as um, like a new form of student government there. This is definitely a big question and I think we're all kind of trying to figure out the answer, but how do you think as a school board, we can help kids avoid that burnout where they overwork themselves or avoid the kind of, you know, like passive learning that happens just so you can do well on a test. Like how do we help kids feel passionate about what they're doing in school and take on things that they care about without reaching, you know, their breaking point? Kids need to have the facets to learn what they love um, or, or just discover what it is they really like to do. Um, whether that's in classes or in extracurriculars, both are really helpful in um, self-discovery. Like, you, you don't want decision makers to be out of touch for who they're making the decisions for. Because the people in this room who are making decisions aren't just making decisions for people like me who have been very lucky to love their experience at the HWDSB and have had so many positive experiences and are now going on to um, like bigger things post-secondary, there's so many different kids who are different than, than the three of us sitting up here. Representation for all kinds of people, not, not just who, who's getting elected. Mm -hmm. We need to hear the voices of the kids at the back of the classroom who don't really want to be there. We need to learn why they don't want to be at school and why it doesn't work for them. That, that's who we need to talk to. Thank you so much for listening. We're very grateful for the conversation we were able to have today. As you heard, some of the recurring themes shared by the graduates included the positive impact of fostering environments in schools where students can pursue what they're passionate about. We talked about the value of communication and that listening to students is empowering students. We shared a common experience of finding community through adversity, whether that's a global pandemic or academic burnout. If there is one takeaway from today's conversation, it's the importance of taking into account the diverse and unique perspectives of our students when making decisions at the board table. And in all facets of the school system, working towards a culture that empowers students in their individual success.